Hey, welcome back and in today's video <sighs> Welcome back. Welcome back. Today is a video. We're gonna be talking about a uh, cozy Kitsune Otherwise known as McKenna Kalen, otherwise known as simply Kenna Changed her names quite a bit, but she released a video where um, She was diagnosed with Asperger's. We're gonna go over that and I found some uh, things that I wanted to talk about this was suggested by Twitter user ham jpeg uh, I guess I'm gonna start doing that so if you guys have a topic that you want to suggest to me definitely uh, reach out to me we're trying to build up the Instagram to 15,000 currently over 10,000 and if we're doing a Q&A over there so go ahead and send me a DM of whatever and allow me 24 hours and I will get a hold of you if you're unfamiliar with Cozy Kitsune, she is a YouTuber with almost 900,000 subscribers. Also goes by McKenna Kalen and also Simply Kenna and a lot of other names. She's changed her name uh, as an attempt to run away from past mistakes. The past mistakes was her committing illegal acts such as plagiarism and just stealing art from other people in general, things like that. She was also uh, very uh, much in the act of covering those things up, trying to make excuses for them. So it leaves the internet to be extremely skeptical uh, uh, when she comes out with a video uh, talking about her diagnosis of Asperger's. Now the diagnosis is not what's in question here, but the uh, the way she's spinning the diagnosis towards her past uh, acts is. Uh, also, if you guys don't remember, I did do a video in depth about uh, Cozy Kitsune that was published on May 2nd of this year titled The Bigger Picture, Simply Kenna Cozy Kitsune. I highly suggest that you watch that video for some added context to this video. I was just recently diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder. So as you can see, uh, this is a legitimate uh, diagnosis from Tokyo Mental Health. It was uh, classified as ADOS to classification autism. She does go over what autism is in this video, but there's a lot of things that uh, strike me the wrong way. I'm just gonna give you a explanation from psychology today. Asperger's syndrome is an autism spectrum disorder, ASD, considered to be on the high functioning end of the spectrum. Affected children and adults have difficulty with social interactions and exhibit restricted range of interests and or repetitive behaviors. Motor development may be delayed leading to clumsiness or uncoordinated motor movements compared with those affected by other forms of ASD. Now compared to those affected with other forms of ASD, those affected with Asperger's do not have significant delay in uh, language or cognitive development. Cognitive development is the construction of thought processes including remembering, problem solving, and decision making from childhood through adolescence to adulthood. But some of them do have an advanced form of vocabulary and just overall uh, come across as very intelligent at a very young age. The thing that really does strike me as an odd about this is in this video it's almost like she's very excited to sort of since she has this diagnosis it seems like she's pushing that onto it uh, saying oh this is the reason that I've done so much wrong. Uh, that being said another trait of Asperger's that is very big and very common is um, the inability to understand other people's emotions and your own emotions. So people on the spectrum are usually considered very um, blunt, rude, insensitive, robotic, all of which I am called on a regular basis. I do want to point out that she says people with Asperger's have an inability to understand others' emotions, and that's just simply not true. Even in the screenshot that she posts on here. Inability to understand. As you can see here, it says even after taking in consideration McKenna's cultural background, her social interactions, use of language, and structure of conversation reflect abnormalities associated with autistic spectrum disorder. This affection is stronger in areas of empathetic gestures, unusual eye contact, perception of others' emotions, quality of social overtures, and facial expressions. So someone with this might have difficulty doing that, but they will not have an inability to do that. 
Keep in mind with Asperger's, cognitive development is a construction of thought processes, including remembering, problem solving, and decision making from childhood through adolescence to adulthood, meaning that she does have the ability to tell right from wrong, has no problem remembering or problem solving. Now, of course, I do not have ASD, so I don't completely understand it from her perspective. And I'm sure having Asperger's does make it at least a little bit more difficult. But like I said, I, I don't understand it from her perspective. But if you have ASD and, or you have a better understanding about this, I want to hear from you in the comment section below. So let me know. But another thing that sticks out to me and just strikes me as an odd is that she literally blames her past illegalities on ASD, blaming it literally on mental health. This has led me to many, many a misunderstandings in my life and even some of my hottest scandals. When people would ask me, did you paint that picture? I would say, yes, because my brain was like, yes, McKenna, you did physically paint that picture with your hands. And it never crossed my mind that they were implying, did you create the concept? Because my brain's like, well, if they wanted to know that, that's what they would have asked. Lots of misunderstandings and all that jolly old stuff. At this point, it does appear to me that she is trying to place blame on her past illegal acts such as plagiarism on aut the autistic spectrum disorder. Uh, this to me paints a misunderstanding with a uh, mental illness and introduces sort of like a misplaced fear and it does nothing to help the stigma around mental health. But I want to hear from you guys about that. Psychology.com states that while there are times when people with mental illnesses commit wrongdoing, it is the exception and not the norm. They are most commonly the victims and not the perpetrators. Now, just looking at it at face value, I personally believe that Kenna needs to stop trying to justify her past mistakes and uh, probably needs to go back to just owning up to them and certainly not trying to blame them on mental health. But that being said, and as interesting as it says, there's always something that's more interesting to me. That's right, you guessed it. I want to know two things. Why don't you go ahead and leave your creative and interesting responses in the comment box below. Thumbs up for those likes. And as always, brothers and sisters, I will see you in the next video. Uh, let's give me a round of applause for three videos in three days. Am I really going to do this? Am I going back to daily uploads? It feels good. I'm able to interact with you guys more. Um, and it's, it's just... It's, have I ever told you that the rep squad is the best squad? That's right. Other than that, we are trying to build up the Instagram to 15,000. It's currently uh, 10,100 and something. Um, when I do hit 15,000, I am going to do a Q&A, another Q&A. Uh, this one's going to be more in depth. So go ahead and uh, send over your questions over there. I'll me about 24 hours to get back to you, but I will get back to you. And... Uh, you know, it's just another way to show that you're repping. If you're not repping, you're gregging. And how you do that, all you gotta do is subscribe and notification turned on. Be in the comment section to every single video because I'm gonna be there. Greg the Cat's gonna be there and the rest of the Red Squad community as well. And I expect to see you there too because this channel loves you.